Hey gems, welcome back to my channel. Today's one, I'm very excited about this. This YouTuber, I've been following her, oh, I love, love, love her page, um, her whole channel. She gives recipes, exercise and tips. Uh, she's married uh, with kids. Um, she's just, I love her, I love her channel. Um, it's just very authentic and just like, someone I just know down the street, you know, it feels, it doesn't feel like she's so far away, if that makes sense. And um, this particular video I thought was very, very interesting. So I wanted us to kickstart our fitness series with this video. So it's gonna be intense, um, so buckle up. <laughs> but yeah, before we do all of that, the YouTube stuff, my goal is to hit 7,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So please, if you do enjoy this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up and hit the subscribe button as well. So my channel is for women who want to be married to marriage my men. So if that is you, <laughs> make sure you hit that subscribe button and come and join the family. Alrighty, let's just get right into it. to talk about something and address something that happened in one of my recent videos you triggered a thought she left a comment and I'm assuming she's new she left a comment on one of my videos and was like that's why you're fat ugly and single and I'm like y'all know sometimes I can be funny if I got time I literally will play around back and forth with somebody in my comments not nothing serious but I will literally play with you if I got time it was like I am not single what are you talking about and if I'm fat to you that's fine it's your perception and if I'm ugly to you that's fine too you can't change somebody's perception about how, how they feel about you and who cares as long as I love myself that's really all that matters so it's no need to justify that right and so she sent me a DM and was like I'm really the one that's fat and ugly but you made me mad in your recent video when you talked about being fat is not cute yada 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 I was super offended and you need to explain that this and this and that and so many people gave me flack for that video that I put up and if you don't know which video I'm talking about I'll link it down below but so many people agreed with me and a lot of people gave me flack for it so I did want to expound on that video just before she gets into that, you see how people can project onto you their insecurities, but they mask it as an attack on you when in actual fact it's an attack on themselves, okay? Or the way they see themselves at, as. And it's so interesting how they only want to show vulnerability after they've attacked you. That is manipulative in and of itself because she's trying to um, play as in the person who cussed her out <laughs> essentially and then said, oh, by the way, it's me, but is I was actually trying to cuss myself out. <laughs> <laughs> can't make this shit up but anyway it's so interesting how she's trying to play into her good graces her sim her um sympathy or her empathy so that she doesn't eat her alive <laughs> you know don't do this don't be like this it's okay to say hey look as much as i want to start my weight loss journey as much as i want to start my fitness journey I'm just lazy <laughs> or I just don't know how to start that's how you get help but putting your guard up saying well people need to accept me for who who um whoever I am like um if you can't accept me at my worst you don't deserve me at my best all of these things are just things that you can hide behind so that you can stay exactly as you are so you can continue to complain about the outcomes that you know you cannot get because you're not ready to put the work in people like this don't be like this ladies this is a woman who is doing most of the stuff for free on YouTube and you have someone keyboard warrioring you know that you're fat and you're ugly and that's why you're single things that are not founded from like it has no leg no foundation it's just saying stuff to break you online just because they can't see themselves, they can't look at themselves in the mirror. 
I have a challenge for you. <laughs> when you finish taking a bath every single day, naked, <laughs> look into the mirror. Naked, look at your body. Look at it. Don't hide it. Look at every single inch. Because you need to understand, as you're scrolling online, scrolling, 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 all these images are burning into your mind. You also need your body image <laughs> burn into your brain as well. Not in, not in a, um, not necessarily to compare, but it's to make you aware of how you are. Sometimes, um, if you don't see it every single day, your mind can start making it seem like it's worse than it already is, or it's better than it could be. So two of those camps. So this is a challenge for you. That's what I do. Absolutely love it. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. I've got a bit of back fat. Okay, when I go to the gym tomorrow, make sure I do more back. You know, oh, my love handles. Oh, it's going down. I love that. Okay, I'll do a bit more of that exercise. Do that. It's lovely. Let's go. Listen, and what I said, I'll just give you guys a recap on what I said in that video. And I did say that it's not, being fat is not cute. Now, I'm not saying that you're not sexy. And I'm not saying that you're, just how I said in the beginning of this video, it's, a, it's someone else's perception on what they see when they look at you. Who cares, right? So you might be a beautiful looking woman. You might be attractive. You, but the fat on you is not attractive. So granted, some people might think that that's sexy. Some However, no matter how beautiful you are, it does not matter. If you are fat, if you are overweight, that is not sexy. And it's unhealthy. It's unhealthy. You know, going up the stairs is a problem. Just going from here to there and you're out of breath. Your knees are giving in because there's just, you know, the joints... They, they are ladies let's put some work in like when you start working out the amount of um endorphins and serotonin that will just boost into your system it will just flood into your system and it boosts your mental clarity you'll start to remember things you know emotionally you'll be better because normally most of the time it's not just fat um from food intake or excessive food intake I learned that actually stress also causes fat that's why sometimes you're trying to lose weight but the weight is not actually losing is because that fat is the stubborn fat caused by stress and the fact that it's still there is stressing you therefore <laughs> causing more stress <sighs> I've got videos coming up where I'm gonna break down how you can approach the whole fitness um, journey, just so that it's not so overwhelming. So I think you'll probably enjoy that as well. Um, but yeah, for me, I personally, um, fell in love with working out, going to the gym in 2013. It was after a breakup, a very, very, a very, very nasty breakup. I literally, Flew into the arms of Jim. Jim, my Jim. Oh, love you, my dear Jim. <laughs> and since then, I haven't stopped. Rain, shine, um, hailstones, you will see me at the gym. People who know me know. <laughs> I don't post about it because I don't need the world to know that I'm disciplined. I do it for myself and I absolutely love it. You know, so even after birth, um, childbirth, I was still able to get back onto that horse. I did fall off. Um, during the quarantine period, but um, yeah, we went back on. <laughs> but yeah, let's go. You might be beautiful in the face, but being fat is horribly unhealthy, sickening, and it will send you down a slippery slope really, really fast. So that's what I was talking about when I said that. I don't care who you are, where you're coming from watching this video, it's not okay. I cannot stand this glare that's here. Sorry, you guys, but I cannot stress enough how unhealthy it is being overweight. And the thing is, I, that video was like a trigger probably to a lot of people. And what it did was it offended those who needed to be offended and it reflected the light back 
within. You can't get mad at me. I mean, you literally can get mad at me, but you can't get mad at me for you being fat. You cannot get mad at me for you being overweight, you overeating, and you sitting there not exercising and doing what you need to do. And that's what that was. A lot of people was in the comments saying things like, well, what about people that are pregnant? It's always the anomaly. What about them? We're not talking about them. <laughs> so if you're saying that in this video, we're not talking about those people. This channel, as I said, is for people who want to be married to marriage-minded men. And if you want kids, you need to start being disciplined now because I promise you, <laughs> when you have kids and you're trying to work out, <laughs> It's such, it's such a struggle. If you're not disciplined prior to having children, you will literally become like a house. Um, yeah, trust me. <laughs> so start now. We're not talking about people who are incapable, unable um, due to, you know, being bedridden. You know, I have so much empathy for them. We're not talking about those people. We're talking about you who are perfectly able <laughs> to make the choices you put into your mouth <laughs> and where you move your feet to <laughs> but you choose to move it from bed <laughs> to kitchen <laughs> from bed <laughs> to refrigerator <laughs> one cookie here one two don't do that i remember when i started to um, count my macros calorie counting just so that i know exactly what i'm eating um i did the um what's it called uh, a thousand skipping rope challenge in seven days and I remember I did a thousand skips and my skipping rope told me that I only burnt a hundred calories or 120 calories I was like just that and I'm so tired and it took me so long just to burn that and then I, I think after working out I was like oh let me just have a Kit Kat or a chocolate bar and I looked at how many calories was in that Kit Kat that I would probably eat in like two minutes but it was like 250 or something of the sort and I was thinking hey so I'm going to do this skipping times two or times three in order to burn this chocolate no I'm not gonna eat it no and I'm not and I'm not saying that um when you start your fitness journey you won't be able to enjoy certain things oh no absolutely not sometimes i have jam donuts i have doner kebab here and there you know but you factor it into um your overall intake for that week or that day that's what i'm trying to say so just be mindful of all of that so that video will be coming and as i'm going on i'm gonna make a whole playlist for the fitness side of things um just so that you can also stay in tune with that as well well, what about people that are this? And what about people that are that? You know dang well I was not talking about people that are pregnant. I was not talking about women who can't lose weight because of thyroid issues. I was not talking about women who cannot lose weight from any issues. I was also talking about men in that video as well. If you're a woman or a man and you are overweight, that is not cute. I don't care who you are. It's not cute. You'll find some people, because in some cultures, being heavy, being overweight is attractive but to me those people aren't even educated you are with somebody and they are fat and you're okay with it and not helping them to lose weight or not trying to get them on some type of journey where they can lose weight you are part of the problem sir or ma'am and again it's not um oh if i lose weight i'm not gonna look i i don't look good slim or so you're trying to get me to to be in a stick no that's not what it is I know with me personally, when I was trying to lose, um, when I started my, when I resumed my fitness um, journey, when gyms, just before gyms opened this year, so around March, I weighed myself and I was like 77 kilos. That's huge, because even when I was pregnant, I was 80 kilos. <laughs> because I was active throughout my pregnancy. So considering I'm not pregnant and I'm a whole 77 kg, that is a problem. <laughs> I'm not moving. I wasn't moving much. I was just chilling and eating and just being a mom and all of that good stuff. And I put on that much weight. I felt so slow and lethargic and I didn't have um, my mind. It was just all foggy. But the minute I, I decided that, okay, I want my healthy weight um, or my ideal weight to be 70 kg, 
I didn't just jump from 77 to 70 kg. No, I did it in small increments. I actually said, I'm, I wanna lose two kg to come to 75. And then I stayed there for a bit. I think it took me about, you know, a couple of, couple of months you know and then I came to 73 and then I'm at 70 and I even dipped down to 69 um, and then I looked at myself and I was like oh okay now I can build more muscle because muscle weighs more than fat I believe um, so I knew that I could get heavier in muscle but not necessarily in fat because what I was trying to do was lose the belly fat <laughs> tone up the arms and you know the back and get big thighs and glutes oh love it I just love it so I knew that if I could come all the way down then I could continue building the the muscle in the right places that I wanted to oh I've learned so much on this journey and I'm so excited to break it down for you. But yeah, let's keep going. So what do you mean? That's an uneducated decision to be okay with being fat, to be okay with being heavy. That's not okay. If you knew the things that can happen to you by being overweight, then you would not be okay with being overweight, if that makes sense. And then you have people in my comments saying things like, well, I was talking to women at that point and I'm like, a man does not want to be with a fat woman, no matter what, line up a group of fat women that's super overweight and you line up a group of women who are who's nice and fit and have slight curves they're going to pick the women that are nice fit with slight curves that is ju it just is what it is that's about 95 percent of the time and i hope you're not thinking well we don't care about men <laughs> again i'm not talking to you people on this channel want to be married to marriage mind men and i would think that you want the man who is coming forward to bring their uh, best foot forward so why not bring your best foot forward as well in the sense of your health you know, discipline, your mindset, so that you can also get the kids disciplined and also in a healthy mindset. Do you get what I mean? If you're a man, comment on this video. Let me know what you think. But anyway, somebody was like, um, the, the men, the dusties and all of this. And what I don't get these days, men putting women down and women putting men down is horrible horrible to me i don't know where that stuff come from but to sit up and call all men dusties that's hideous you come in my comment and talk first of all my husband is a man my son is a young man 18 years old and my little boy year old is going to grow up to become a man and neither one of them none of them are dusty so what do you mean i have brothers they're not dusties so to generalize all men that is like out of the question. And the issue is why are you thinking about a Dusty <laughs> in association with you getting healthy? Doesn't make sense. That's why I'm saying it's just something to slap on so they can hide behind it and not put in the work. You know, don't be like that because at the end of the day, you are not going for a Dusty. You're going for the best the best in your sexual marketplace value okay so you've got to come with your best so that you can also get the best in that category so why are we talking about people who are not in that category <laughs> you know get out of that get out of that all of that is noise is distracting you <laughs> from the main mission <laughs> okay that's like a no-go. I totally understand when you say some men are dusties because some men are just just dogs, dusties, busties, and it's going to do what they're going to do and do women wrong. You see what I'm saying? So you can't get away from that. But we need to change our mind frame. We really do these days. This generation needs to change their mind frame on how they look at themselves for one. Because if you look at yourself in a respectful light, it'll help you look at others in a respectful light and not generalize all people. That's like me generalizing everybody that's fat saying you're fat lazy horrible blah 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 no some people are fat because they literally don't know where to start some people are fat because they literally don't know about health you'll take you'll have a fat person who go into mcdonald's and get a salad and that'll be all they eat for that day but then they'll rebound the next day and eat a whole bunch of stuff because they don't know to keep going they don't know discipline they don't know how to keep on moving forward they they don't they don't have an understanding when it come down to weight loss you see what i'm saying you can't just generalize all people all men aren't dusties all women aren't this all all this isn't all black people aren't this all white people aren't that you see what i'm saying so with the generalization 
anyways, with the generalization, with the generalization, let's just stop it right there, you guys. I feel like in these last like two videos, I've been just like randomly recording and randomly talking about stuff that I wouldn't generally that I wouldn't generally talk about, which is cool with me. I kind of like this style of recording every now and again, not all the time. I meant what I said when I said being fat isn't cute, being fat isn't okay, being fat will literally land you into the hospital and land you down a slippery slope really, really fast and it's not okay and we are not going to make it okay on this channel. No matter how much you guys come from my throat, we are not going to make being fat okay. That's not what we do on a daily basis here. We focus on being healthy, being fit, being the best us that we can, being okay with that we want to normalize that not being fat you understand what i'm saying just want to give you guys some encouragement you guys see where i have come from my body was like so fat out of shape i've been up and down on roller coasters when they come down to my weight loss and i definitely bounce back you guys have seen my whole journey do not be discouraged we all do not never look at none of these videos on youtube and see a fit person and think that you can't do it we all have have the same 24 hours in a day we all can do it do not let yourself get in the way of yourself you can get fit you can get in shape you can get right you don't have to settle for less you don't have to put yourself in unhealthy situations high blood pressure fibromyalgia all of those different things that can be prevented by you just losing some weight a lot of people don't realize this but the cancers that's out there a lot of different diseases and ailments are really caused by our eating, our eating habits, our lifestyle, our weight. So put you first, put yourself first today, put your kids first, your husbands first, all of your family first. Oh, I love it. I love it. Ah, oh, I told you she's amazing. So, so amazing. So inspirational. And I, I understand you ladies, you know, it's tough. Sometimes you just don't know where to start. And you know, when you think about where you need to get to, it can get very overwhelming very quickly. And trust me, I was there as well. <laughs> I did so much in a whole week or two and I lost, no, I hadn't, I didn't lose any weight. <laughs> I actually put on 0.2 kg. <laughs> I was so mad at myself and I remember going back and looking at some of my old YouTube videos, seeing my cheekbones and everything and I was like, oh my god, I'm so fat and ugly. That doesn't get us anywhere, but it's okay, you have to go through the motions and um, you know, you get there, just be determined. Being determined helps you build like realistic small goals, you know daily goals that can get you to the end goal. I know for myself, I set the goal to get to 70 kg by the end of the year. And I set that goal in March, just so that I wasn't so overwhelmed. And I managed to hit that goal, I think a couple of months ago, because I felt ill and I went down to 69 kg. So I was like, okay, the minute I get well, I need to make sure that I can stay in the right, you know, calorie deficit. But yeah, ladies, more of that coming soon there's gonna be a whole playlist for it I'll actually add this to my old fitness playlist maybe or I'll create a new one um, just because it's like reaction and fitness um, fitness tips but yeah go and check her out uh, her channel is amazing I think you'll learn a lot from it as well uh, but yeah if you have enjoyed this video don't forget to like it and hit the subscribe button as well until next time take care and God bless bye bye